Hey guys, so I'm back again. Back at it again with a different tutorial. I have this hair tutorial that I haven't I haven't done a hair tutorial in a while. I have this braided hairstyle, which is like the must-have hairstyle of the season. Everyone's wearing it. Everyone wants to rock it, and it looks great on everybody. Just know that this is the Dutch braid because it is braided outwardly or they can be called cornrows and apparently the new thing is to call them Kim K braids but they are not Kim K braids because they do not belong to her she just rocks the heck out of them but hey it looks good right um so what I'm gonna do in this video I show you guys two different ways on how to get this braided hairstyle as you can see they're not the same length because the way I added this side and the way I added this side was different so one came out longer than the other so I might look a little crazy but this is the look I'm gonna tell you guys what I used and that whole process so the hair that I used came in this big pack um, like so actually it came like this and it is the interface silky yaki braid hand braided 100% cacalon style silky yaki braid KN in the color 1B this is the only kind that I buy. Any other kind of hair that I tried to buy at the beauty supply store was too coarse for my hair. And then when I would braid it, it would just get tangled and matted and it aggravated me and I just want to rip my hair off. So I only like the silky one. I, it comes in a pack like this. I believe it was $2.99. There is also another technique that you can use using clip-in extensions. But because my hair is not straightened right now I didn't use the clipping extensions but I will make a video on how to do that what I did was um, I took two packs of hair combined them took a little added it to the first pack took a little kept it on the second pack and then a quarter of the hair I just left out I could have just split it in half but I didn't want my hair my braid to be too thick because then it wouldn't look realistic because it would just be like a big old braid back here um, and so that is what I use for the hair and then I use my eco styler eco styler gel and this is the clear one alcohol free max hold of 10 and then I have my handy dandy toothbrush for my edges and then I have this pack of rubber bands they're just black rubber bands um, I just bought this one at the beauty supply store and it was also $1.99 you're gonna need a comb to part your hair down the middle in the video you'll see that my hair was already parted so I didn't need to do that but a tip is to follow your nose to create your part and then you can also use a comb like this this is a uh, goodie uh, back back combing brush like a teasing brush and it comes with a pointed tip and it has three rolls three rows of bristles but I just found it too thick for my hairline but if you want you can use that and I also have bobby pins that I used I only used two so I don't have any out here um, and if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lip I am wearing Kylie Jenner's lip kit in Court K which I'll be reviewing soon as well as the lip glosses so stay tuned for that so I'm going to show you guys the two different ways that you can feed in your extensions um, to add length to your hair when doing the two braids or even when you're doing the multiple cornrows. Um, but before I get started, I want to tell you guys about how I prep my hair. So I had washed my hair the day before I decided I was going to braid my hair. That doesn't matter. I like to braid my hair when it's dry. When it's wet, it's just it's a hassle because my hair is slippery. I can't. There's too much conditioner. It just doesn't work. But in order to prep my hair, I had washed my hair the day before and the next day I was like, oh, I'm going to braid my hair. So to prep my hair, I like when my, because my hair is really curly, I have like 3C, 4A, 3B combination hair, if that means anything to you. I just have tight corkscrew curls. So the front of my hair gets pretty wavy. And obviously when I braid, I want it to look as smooth as possible. So I like to have the front of my hair, if you can see here, it's as straight as can be without the use of heat. If you want, you can do like a blowout. Um, just blow dry your hair and make it like straight, but I didn't want to use any heat. So what I did was I brushed my hair back in a low bun um, with a boar bristle brush and some eco styler gel and just wore it in a bun for like two or three hours. And then when I decided to braid my hair, I combed out the front of my hair with using my fingers because that is kind of like when you crunch gel out, it make, gets rid of the gel, like the crunchiness. So I got rid of the crunchiness in the front of my hair. 
and I also finger detangled the rest of my hair. You can use a comb if you want to, I just found it easier using my fingers. And it didn't have to be perfect or anything like that. I just got rid of the curls and made sure the front of my hair was as smooth as possible as it is here. Like there's still some like little waves and stuff, but that's totally fine. So I used two packs of hair um, and then I split it in, like I put some of the pack, some of the second pack to the first pack and split up the other side. And then there was like a quarter of it left and I left that just lying around I'm not using that and also as a disclaimer I am NOT going to show you how to braid if you want to learn how to braid I think there's like th there's a thousand videos you guys can watch I'm just gonna show you how I add in my hair since people have been asking me and I'll show you guys I've been wearing my hair um, in a braid for like two days and so it's as stretched as possible if you can see here there's like no curls in it. It looks like I straightened it, but I did it. It's just because I've been um, wearing it straight. If you want, you can add a little bit of water to bring some moisture back into your hair. Add some oil, some conditioner, whatever you feel. I don't like doing that because there's a already product in my hair. I like to braid my hair dry. If you feel like you need, um, if you have a lot of flyaways, if you feel like you need something to hold your hair as you braid, you can add some, um, what is the thing called? You can add some edge control or some gel. Um, as I mentioned before, I'll be using Eco Styler gel and my fingers, rubber bands, and all that stuff. So I start off in the front as close as to the edge as I can. And also, I don't like braiding my hair close to my ears. I like to braid it, as you can see here, towards the back. I feel like when you braid it this way, your head just looks massive. So I start off my braid as close as to the edge as I can and I braid really tight and so excuse my faces that I make. So I start off as small so I start to braid and I'm grabbing the pieces surrounding the braid as I go. And I'm making sure to pull my hair up because as I said before, I'm not braiding this way, I'm braiding to the back. And also make sure to detangle your hair before, but my hair was detangled since I had started the video. And especially when you get to this part over here, you want to make sure you comb your hair up into the braid. So, do like so. And once I've grabbed all the hair that's in front of my ear, so like after I reach this point of my hair, is when I go in for the weft of hair. As I'm grabbing... Once I reach this point and I'm grabbing this next piece of hair, so I'm about to do this, I make sure that I leave this part out and I grab my weft of hair. You also want to make sure that it's even when you grab it. At this point of my hair where I'm, I've reached this point, peak of my ear or the highest point of my ear is where I like to use the line of reference of where I've added my hair so that when I go to the next side I add it in the same exact spot as I'm grabbing once I reach this point and I'm grabbing this next piece of hair so I'm about to do this I make sure that I leave this part out and I grab my weft of hair you also want to make sure that it's even when you grab it, so you want to line up the ends, and I secure this part of the hair. So this piece is about to go back, that piece is above my finger. I'm going to grab it, and you can see it as I do it. 
I just start braiding it. And as you can see, there's going to be one section that does not have the hair. So I just continue going down. So I continue to braid as neat as possible following my part. Okay, you might be confused because I look completely different because I'm wearing different clothes and I have glasses on. Yes, I wear glasses usually on the weekdays. And second of all, I was editing in the portion that I thought I got, I didn't get, so I had to show you guys in three, well, there is no three, just watch. So the part I was trying to show you was how I continued the braid once my hair stops. That's what I'm gonna show you right now. Continue the braid down my hair. And you can see that this portion of my hair is mine, but it's obviously shorter than the rest of the hair. So I just continue braiding on my way down. So what I do when I get to the nape of my neck and I have the piece of my hair that is in the middle between the two other strands, what I do is I take some from either the left or the right side and I just add it to the middle portion and then I continue my braid. So my braid goes all the way down and I braid like this until I can't reach anymore. So I braid making sure that my hair is kept neat in the braid. Go all the way down and you'll see the rest on the rest of the other clip. Before I messed it up, are any strays at the bottom that are just too long? You can just take a pair of scissors. You don't have to use hair scissors because it's not your actual hair and just trim it off. And you can also shape there are any knots, so you can cut them out. You can taper the end of... It's harder to cut it when it's not the hair scissors, but... You can go ahead and taper the ends of your braid. And once I'm all set with that, then I go in with my Eco Styler, Eco Styler Gel. And I take the handy dandy toothbrush and I lay my edges. So I go in with the handy dandy toothbrush and I take my Eco Styler gel and I just dab it in the gel. There's not too much on it because if you put too much gel, then your hair just gets super curly, or at least my hair does, and it's just a mess. But you can lay them edges down with your toothbrush. And this is throwback. You can use your finger. You can either even use a uh, teasing brush, but this is too big. I don't like the way that works. This gives you all the everything you need. So what I do is I lightly spread the gel and then I start to comb back my edges. And I like to grab my sideburns and pull them up too because it gives you a cleaner look. And then and get them baby hairs. I don't really even like to use do a lot of baby hair because my baby hairs are long. And then, as you can see, I have these little flyaways up here. So what I do is I gather them, take a bobby pin, and secure them, and then hide the bobby pin underneath the braid. Like that. And you can't see the bobby pin. And then I take a little bit of the gel. Sometimes I put it on the cap. I just dab it in there and I comb out in between the part and then I go all the way down but I don't need to do that today because it's fine so there you have it for the first process or way of feeding in your hair and now I'm going to show you how to do the other side the other side the other side of me the difference with this um 
technique of braiding is that I'm going to add in the hair at the end. Um, the only difference is you want to make sure that you do the same technique to both sides or else you're going to end up with different lengths of braids. So I'm just going to start my braiding as I do in the beginning. Instead of adding here at this point, I'm braiding all the way down. And you're going to add the hair the same way you added it up here, except it's going to be at the end. Once I, meet, I reach the nape of my hair, I'm going to take my hair weft or bundle and I'm going to split it in half. You're going to braid your hair down to the nape of your neck. Once you do that, you want to get your index finger ready. You're going to have your first half of your weft split into two. Make sure the ends meet up with each other. Make sure they match like this. And I'm going to secure that with my index finger. Add this section of hair and braid a few times and then you want to make sure that your braids like clean down to the end of your hair and then there's this section that doesn't have hair any hair the other two sections do so what I'm going to do is take my next half of hair secure it with my index finger and make sure that that piece of hair that didn't have any get some <laughs> Then I'm going to make sure that my ends are clear and then start braiding it in like so. And then I'm going to braid all the way down to the end as far as I can this way because it starts to hurt. And then I'm going to switch the front of my hair get any tangles out as well in that process. So now I'm just going to go back in with my Eco Styler Gel again to smooth those edges. And again, I don't put too much because I don't want to have curly edges. I just want them to be laid flat. Take my bobby pin and secure it and push it in so it's behind the braid. And that is it for my braided technique. This braid came out a little funky here, but that's okay. Um, as you can tell, the braid comes out smoother. I didn't do too good of a job braiding, but that's just... I wasn't showing you guys how to braid. I just showed you how I fed in my hair and this is what the back looks like if you can see that and that is it see you guys later